Let's take a look at how to add a admin user to a business. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into the admin section and find the business and go to their dashboard. When you get there, you can scroll down and you'll find an area called admin accounts in the center. You may see a couple of admins already added to this account, but we can add manage others. When you go to the uh, Manage Business Admin form, it'll show you the two accounts you have set up, and then you have to click the Add Another Admin Account uh, radio button, and then we have this. So let's go ahead and set up a fake account. Oops. That'll work. Ah. Okay, well here's something good to know. If you're adding a business admin account for a user that already exists in the system, you'll get a note to that effect here as soon as you add their email. In this case, I am not going to use that account because I would like to uh, show some of this stuff down here. So click cancel and we'll add first and last name. Whoops. Uh, you can choose to generate a password if you like. Gives a nice secure password. Uh, send an email with a login confirmation. Most of the time you're going to want to click yes. This is a, a detailed email that goes out to the user. Um, if you want, you can click no and do it at a later time, which we'll look at in a moment. And then we have SMS sending and email sending permissions. Uh, by default, a new business user would not have permission to send an SMS message. Uh, they'll be able to create the message and schedule it, but not it won't actually go out until it's approved by the station um, or by the website admin. Uh, sometimes that can become a cumbersome process once you have a lot of different admin accounts. So uh, sometimes it's best to go ahead and click yes to can this user send SMS alerts and email as well. Click yes and add this user. After you add the user, it takes you to the uh, back to the Manage Business User page. We see it up here, test at tester.com, and we see the user was created and notice emailed to. So that's a good thing. Let's take another look at other things we can do. Let's go back to the dashboard. That would be the Businesses dashboard. And we'll see under Admin Accounts, our new account here. We can choose to edit the user if we want, detach the user from the account, or resend the admin letter. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to show you about uh, admin accounts, which is that actually if you want to give or revoke SMS sending permissions once you've created them, once you've created the account, you would edit their user and we're having a little slow internet here. And scroll down, and in this gray area, this is the admin type information uh, that only you have access to. Right here, under sending SMS and email sending, you can click no if you like or yes either way. And once you do that, click Save Permission Changes. And let's go back to the dashboard.